Hi, gang! I'm my radar meteorologist Matt Capucci with a look at something really nerdy and really fascinating. Mount Washington in New Hampshire is 6,288 feet high. It's the tallest peak in the Northeast. They get some wild weather up there, often protruding into the jet stream. Weather observations were first taken semi-regularly atop the summit between 1870 and 1892. The observatory itself was erected in 1932. On Tuesday, April 12, 1934, the observatory recorded a gust of 231 miles per hour. That was the worldwide record for directly measured wind gusts for decades. That's until Barrow Island, Australia got a gust of 253 miles per hour in the eyewall of Cyclone Olivia on April 10, 1996. The weather station there was located at a 210 feet elevation. Suffice is to say, Mount Washington sees a lot of weird stuff. But this weekend, they're going to poke into the stratosphere. We live in the troposphere. Weather happens in the troposphere. The stratosphere is the second layer of Earth's atmosphere. The boundary between both layers is called the tropopause. Air temperatures fall with height in the troposphere. That's why it's cold when we fly in an airplane, even in the summertime. But air temperatures actually increase with height in the stratosphere. That's because it's chock full of ozone, which absorbs incoming solar radiation. The tropopause that boundary is where temperature begins increasing with height. It's an impenetrable boundary for rising air. That's why thunderstorm updrafts flatten and make an anvil when they reach the tropopause. The tropopause is usually 4 to 10 miles above the ground, but this weekend it's going to be pinched closer to the surface by an extreme arctic air mass. Now it's not the whole stratosphere that's bulging down, but rather a filament of it has been folded downwards. If we take a look at a simulated weather balloon sounding from New Hampshire, you can see just how low the tropopause gets, about a mile up. Notice potential air temperature basically increasing with height above that. That's the stratosphere. There's a chance that if you step outside Saturday morning atop Mount Washington, you'll actually smell ozone from the stratosphere. The human nose is very sensitive to it and can smell the equivalent of about three teaspoons in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Now, odds are you've actually smelled ozone before. It's generated by the sparks of electricity you get when pulling laundry apart fresh out of the dryer. That clean smell? Ozone. Of course, folks probably don't want to go to Mount Washington or step outside on Saturday morning. It's certainly not sun tanning weather atop the summit. Gusts of 135 miles per hour and a wind chill of 110 below are expected. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa. Xbox and Windows.